What's up y'all, my name is Barbara Atwood. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are making the copycat caramel apple pie apples from Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory. Please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and let's get started. All right, so to begin, all of the ingredients and tools you'll need for this recipe will be listed down below the, in the description box, so please be sure to check that out. Right now, we are just thoroughly washing our Granny Smith apples and wiping them down to making sure that they're completely dry. Um, backstory, I love these apple pie apples from Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory. They are my absolute faves. Every single time I go to the mall, doesn't matter if it's a failed shopping trip or a successful one, I always make sure I stop by and grab an apple pie apple. Thinking about it now, the amount of money I've spent on it, low key ridiculous, cause every apple is like 10.55 with tax included. And like, girl, you really didn't need to be spending all that money when it's really that easy to make at home. So we are going to do it today. So I am removing all of the stems from the apples because you don't really need them. And then I'm going to take my um, bamboo skewers or like any, like use a popsicle stick if you want, whatever you have on hand. And we're just going to make sure that it is firmly placed into the center of the apple. And then we are going to place them in the freezer while we prepare our caramel. Now onto the caramel. We have our butter in our pot. Now I'm just going to let that melt down for a little bit, swirl it all around, make sure it gets all over the pot and everything. This is actually my first time making caramel ever. Usually I just use like caramel syrup and stuff, but you know, I thought it shouldn't be that hard. And I want to make like a salted caramel, so just like a little bit of sweet and salty and like a little bit of tartness from the Granny Smith apple. But anyways, um, as you can see, I added my brown sugar and then I also added my milk and we're just going to break down the brown sugar and making sure that the butter is, everything is all incorporated together. You don't want any lumps or anything because you want everything to be a smooth consistency, okay? <laughs> So we're gonna let it reach a boil and when it does, we're just going to let it um, boil for about one to two minutes so that it starts to thicken and the consistency is like a, like um, I don't know how to explain it, like a thick syrup. You don't want it runny at all because you want it to be able to stick to the apples. So um, I'm also stirring it as it's boiling because I don't want it to burn at the bottom. And when we remove it from the heat, we're gonna add our vanilla extract and a little pinch of salt for that salted caramel taste. And you wanna make sure that it cools because I have watched too many episodes of Chopped and too many episodes of Cake Wars where people dip their finger and it's basically burnt off. Ain't nobody got time for that. So you just wanna make sure it cools to, wait, um, to when it reaches that thick consistency. And now you just wanna grab a plate, put some parchment paper on top of it and we are going to dip our apples. Our apples have been freezing in the freezer for like a couple of minutes now. So it's, uh, as you can see, the caramel is immediately sticking to the apple, okay? Um, grab a spoon and just make sure that there's like an even spread all over the apple, making sure it's getting all over. And then you wanna scrape off the bottom so that it doesn't pool when you put it on the parchment paper for it to set. Thank you. 
never had a fucking hot dog, nigga. Fucking mayonnaise, nigga. So now we are making our cinnamon sugar topping on it or whatever. So I'm pouring my white sugar and my brown sugar into a bowl and then I'm going to add my cinnamon and we are just going to make sure everything is blended together. Very simple, not too much work. Um, just whisk it up all together so there's like an even consistency and there's not like huge chunks as you can see. So we're just gonna break that down until everything is even. Never had a fucking hot dog, nigga. Fucking mayonnaise, nigga. And now we are going to switch out our bowls because we now have to melt our white chocolate as the caramel apples are setting. Okay, so I'm just gonna be using my Hershey's Chip It's pure white chocolate chips. Uh, I used about one and a half bags and I just put, put it in a glass bowl. You don't wanna put it in a plastic bowl or else it's gonna melt and, I mean, it's gonna like burn and it's gonna curdle and then your chocolate's gonna taste disgusting, okay? So put make sure it's in a glass bowl, pop it in the microwave. Um, I put it in the microwave for about a minute 30, but every 30, I mean, uh, every 30 seconds, I mean, I was taking it out and then stirring it. So that's how I reached the consistency, as you can see right here. So now it is time to dip our apples and prepare them to be so great okay so as you can see i brought the caramel apples out of the freezer we are going to dip them straight into the white chocolate again this was actually kind of hard to be honest with you because i didn't want to make i didn't want to melt too much white chocolate to where like i had like a waste um but i didn't want to make too little and i think because of the bowl size i wasn't able to like really like work it in but um as you can see i had to like grab a fork and just make sure that it was spread all across the apple um just to make sure that the cinnamon sugar would stick and um i had to add extra uh skewers so it would hold because the apple started to get a little bit heavy and i felt the stick starting to like get a little wonky okay so um <laughs> i'm grabbing my um cinnamon sugar with a spoon and just sprinkling it on but also rolling it you can do either or if you don't want too much on the um surface of your apple um sprinkling it is a good option if you want a lot of cinnamon sugar i guess rolling it is the better option because it's pressing against the, uh, the chocolate to where it will hold okay so we are just going to continue doing that for the rest of the apples and then we're going to place them in the freezer to for them to set for at least five to ten minutes just to make sure that nothing is falling apart okay <music> So after our apples have set in the freezer for about five to 10 minutes, here it is. It's not as smooth as you, you know, the stores have it, but it's homemade and that's the best part, okay? So we are going to slice it open. As you can see, everything is held together. Everything is set. It looks beautiful and it tastes even better. Um, I don't bite into my apples. I cannot do that, girl. I got sensitive teeth. Um, <laughs> so as you can see, um, I am slicing it up and removing the core just to make sure that i could just like pop them in my mouth and then um this is the final look 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It tastes so good and it's so easy to make. Bang for your buck instead of paying that $10.55 every single time I've been going to the mall. But you know, look at it. Get into the styling though. Like I really did that. I really did that. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Okay, bye-bye. Never had a fucking hot dog, nigga. Fucking mayonnaise, nigga.